Hi guys, how's it going? My name is Osmi Coop. I'm from sculptbeat.com and if you don't already know, you're watching my makeup tutorials and today, as you can see, my look has already been done and I'm going to show you how to do this look and this tutorial is actually very special because for those who don't know, and I'm sure 90% of you already know, Sex and the City 2 is in cinemas today and this look is dedicated to all you fabulous people out there who have been waiting and waiting and waiting for this film. Now, I've actually been waiting since the last Sex and the City finished because you kind of know that there's something else going to be coming, right? But um, I'm not actually a massive Sex and the City fan, so I've been looking forward to it, so I'm sure you guys are going absolutely crazy. Now, I also would like to dedicate this tutorial to my very good friend, Harveen. It's her birthday today. Happy birthday, girl. Um, I hope you have a fantastic day. And I'm really, really sorry that I won't be able to make it to um, your Sex and the City evening today. And I'm really, really gutted. So I'm sure you're going to have a fabulous time anyway. And I'm sure this could, I'm hoping that this can make up for a little bit of how sorry I really am that I can't be there. I'm absolutely gutted. Last year, guys, we watched Sex and the City together. It was her birthday again, and we all, all the girls went and watched together. It was fabulous. So I'm really, really gutted that I'm missing out this time, but I'm sure you'll have a great time. So happy birthday, have a wicked day, and do this look tonight. You know, it could be your birthday look, and you could go out, you could do it, and then I'll kind of be there, all right? So um, this is for you. Um, I hope you guys enjoy it. Now the look that I'm going to be doing is Carrie Bradshaw's look and I've only seen a little, I've seen the trailer and there's a little part uh, where she's sitting, I think she's sitting in front of Samantha, I'm not sure and you know she's got this look but this is also the look that Carrie carries most of the time, you know whether it's a natural look, whether it's out shopping, whatever it is yeah, this is the look that she, she does all the time. She's got piercing blue eyes and as you can see I'm wearing blue contact lenses today and the contact lenses that I wear, loads of you have you been asking about them, um, I've put the link below and they're great contact lenses, I'm wearing Aqua today and I will do a tutorial on showing you how to put them in and to take them out, okay? So um, that's that, um, I hope you guys enjoy it, let me know what you think. And for this look guys, I'm going to be using the Sculpt Beauty Natural Palette. Now the reason I'm using this palette is because it's got some fantastic, let me show you, some fantastic natural colours in there and you know, you can't go wrong, can you? No you can't. Okay, so anyways, we're going to get started and I'm going to start with this colour right over here, which is like a cream. A shimmery cream right now the trick with Sarah Jessica Parker's look is try and use an eyeshadow color the closest to your skin tone as possible right you could go one shade lighter okay because if you're really dark skinned and then you do this look it'll suddenly become an evening look because you're highlighting too much okay you just want to create a subtle glam kind of look all right so I've got that on my medium application brush and I'm going to start on my inner core and I am uh, going to spread this all over the same color all over my eyelid my brow bone got this all over my eyelid and this is actually a very simple look now you could wear this during the day or in the evening or on holiday it's very very versatile Okay, so I've got that all over my eyelid, and I'm going to bring some of this underneath as well. Okay, so we've got that. Then we're going to take our blendy application brush, and we're just going to create a little bit of shading towards the end. And the colour I'm using for this is this colour right here. Now, this is like a mauve brown in a shimmer. Okay, now this is just to not go too dramatic, but this is just to create a little bit of definition, a little bit of shading to the outer corner of your eye. Now what we're going to do is just apply this in the outer corner and just blend it inwards. You don't want to make it stand out too much, you just want it look to look a bit like natural shading. So I've got some down here and I'm just going to spread it over. And all you need to do is blend that around and so that's practically it. Okay, so that's our eyeshadow done. Okay, see how simple was that? Okay, so I'm using Black Track's um, Max Eyeliner, which is Black Track um, Fluid Line. It's actually Max 
eyeliner fluid line in black track. Okay, we got that. Right, so get that on your angle brush. Okay, now this is the key thing to this look. Now we're going to line our eyes. Now start off right in the inner corner. And if your line isn't perfect, don't worry too much because we are going to blend this in. But you want to create a medium line. Now, when you come to the end, we're not going to actually have a flick, okay? But we're going to give the illusion that our eyes are longer than they actually are. And the way to do that is very cle cleverly just bring the eyeliner without going higher up and just follow your, your, um, your eye to its natural um to its to to the end and just take it out slightly so it looks natural so we've got that okay now we want to take this underneath and join these up together and then join in a corner up together and that's it really make sure your end is actually quite neat okay because even though we're going to blend that in um it's nice if it's neat just from there okay so use this to as your coal um eyeliner okay so anyway we're going to go back we're going to go into this um black we're going to get that on a smaller application brush because um, the reason why we're using a smaller application brush is because our application has to be precise, right? So, we're going to get this on top of our eyeliner and just really carefully, we're going to blend this in. And that's it. That is practically our eye done. Now, eyelashes are optional, but um, why can't we wear them, right? So, I'm going to go put some eyelashes on and I'll be right back. Hi guys, I'm back. I've put my eyelash on and I've also put my mascara on. Now the reason I've put my mascara on and I haven't shown you whilst I'm doing it is because we're running out of time and I want to show you something else today. Um, I've been getting a lot of requests about putting blusher on and stuff. So um, I've decided that... Um, I'll show you how I'm going to put my blusher on. Now in this look, now this is the Sculpt Beauty uh, blusher palette and there's like 20 in rows and there's like 28 colours in there and it's really quite convenient. Um, so anyways... Now, the colour that I'm going to use is this colour down here. Now, the great thing about this palette is that you can actually um, mix the colours together if they're too bright for you or if you want to tone them down a little and it is really, really great for that. So, I'm going to get that on my brush and I'm actually going to mix it with this coral in the corner there. Okay, now, Sarah Jessica Parker actually has her blusher starting from her cheeks here and it's very natural and it just goes up okay so I'm using quite a fat blusher brush or powder brush even and I am just putting it on my cheeks here and I'm just taking the colour up yeah so then you could just once you've got your when once it's applied just swirl it around yeah now if you want you could take the colour all the way back but that's kind of totally up to you yeah so it's there, and then on the other side, don't go overboard with blusher, guys. You know, I've seen some people and, yeah, they do go overboard. Blusher is supposed to actually um, be really subtle and very, very natural, you know? So um, it Glowy, should, but it shouldn't be, like, overboard, okay? Unless it's, like, a wedding and stuff and even like, when people have, like, really defined cheekbones um, which is also quite nice so there's my Carrie Bradshaw's look from the movie Sex and the City 2 I hope you guys enjoyed it um, send me some requests for any other looks that you've seen in the video or the film and you want me to do it I'm sure there's going to be some fabulous fabulous looks in this movie so you know just try and get a picture um, and send it to me and I'm going to dedicate the next few tutorials on these looks if I get the requests, okay? So you guys gonna do a bit of work. Um, everything that I've used today, you can buy from sculptbeauty.com forward slash shop, including the contact lenses. Now, if you're a YouTube subscriber, there's a like button here. I'd like to know what you guys think of my tutorials and it always helps me, okay? So press that like 
and there's also a subscribe button here. So if you subscribe to the channel, we have got some fantastic, fantastic stuff coming up, right? So if you love makeup and you love these tutorials and you might like me a little bit, then, you know, make a conscious effort, guys, to, you know, so either subscribe to the channel or, you know, um, be part of our fan page on uh, Facebook because we've got some fantastic things coming and some fantastic events and, and things like that coming. So if you are interested in all of that, just um, join us and give me some feedback. That's it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. There is more coming. See you later.